Hey there! Thanks for joining me on this tutorial. Today I'm going to go over creating a custom background in Sony Vegas. Okay, so first what you need to do is just, you know, find a background that's very similar to this, just with a pattern or something. I actually saw this and the snow was like moving and fluttering and I thought, hey, that would make a great background. So here you go. You just pull a snippet where you find that you like. And it doesn't matter how jittery it is because you can go into Velocity, which I made a whole tutorial on using Velocity with keyframes. Super easy to slow down your clip. Okay, you would just simply cut the portion you want. I'm going to insert, right click and insert empty event. And that is just going to make my video fade up and down from black. Very nice. So once you have that, it's really just a matter of, you know, putting some effects or maybe even, you know, making it a little bit darker. If you want to put some effects, you just go to Event FX. I'll bring up this pop up and you can choose all these different things. Or do you want to make, you know, a film effect or a film grain? I'm just double clicking and I'm adding all these and it's adding it to the list and so I can go through one at a time and I can change that. Um, what else could be fun? I don't know. Really just play around with whatever you would want and then say add. Oh, I'm sorry. Say remove. Say OK. And now here I have all these checks like they're active so if I didn't want to use any I would just deactivate them all. Here's sepia. Film effect. And double click on it to get into the effect. So And here's just different things you can enable and the amount you'll want to play around with. So that jitter, that's that's me. <laughs> jitter. You can actually adjust all of them. Because, so say so you don't like jitter, you just take that off. Once you find what you like, that's all there is to it. You just render it out. And you don't have to render it out like fading up to black either. And then you can loop it and maybe it wouldn't be so obvious. So you could like loop this video and have your intro. You can stretch it out, whatever it may be. But you would just go to render as. I would suggest to render it as a WMV, like a high eight, you know, HD. Let's see here. Yeah, I'd probably go like six megabyte or maybe the 6.4, you know, with the 24P. Anyhow. So after that, you just render it out and then you can bring it into your DVD architect into Vegas. You can edit it with whatever. So hopefully this helps you a little bit. And next I'm going to be doing one on lens flare. That's going to be fun and exciting. So I hope that you will look for that one. Thanks so much and please subscribe.